I will be the commentator of today's live stream. You can join my tournaments on Funbridge and Funbridge Points. Tournaments start on Wednesday evening 7.30 pm and last 24 hours. The live stream is then on Thursday evening. We are playing 10 boards and use the match point scoring. Everybody can join. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner or an expert, everybody will have fun. And how much does it cost? Nothing. Both the tournament and the live stream are free of charge. The official sponsor of the tournaments and the live stream is Funbridge. What does that mean? You can win Funbridge points and join the ranking. You can also win diamonds if you challenge me and win. What do you have to do to play the challenge against me on the live stream? Challenge me right now and win in the lottery. Just write in the live chat your Funbridge nick and that you challenges me right now. Good luck! Hi guys, welcome all to the live stream. Uh, Kevin was there first, Paul, I have uh, there Crystal, Alice and others will join very soon. I have made a few changes from the last stream because uh, there were definitely some issues. I hope that this way it will be much easier for you to watch. Uh, I have again like uh, pre-recorded uh, the boards and you will see that there is a change. So right now if we are live I will have the red t-shirt and if there will be a record video from today's Fun Bridge Points tournament, then I will have a blue t-shirt and I will see how I can do the director thing to switch the scenes quite smoothly. But before we go, and uh, I think this will be the topic about today and for the whole week actually, because the tournament is not over, is the Bridge International Championships, where quite a lot of you played that tournament. I and at this moment I have an average of 61.75% and actually uh, the last two rounds I played extra uh, to do the videos one I didn't manage from the technical issues but the other one will go there on uh, Friday so tomorrow evening but there's a lot of things going on. Tomorrow you will have a free day. So also tomorrow you can play a tournament and go to federations. And uh, you can join the Czech Republic Master Points. And again, the winner will uh, play the reward challenge against me. And uh, I will choose the best board to make the video for the next week. But... For today, in front of us, we have the Funbridge Point Tournament and uh, normally you can see it here in the list with the name Milan Matsura, but now the tournament is over, so it's four minutes gone. So if you played it, you will find it in the archives. And uh, right now I'm 75th, so 1991 players played this tournament. I'm close to 70%, so we will see, we will see how it goes. Uh, unfortunately, probably uh, at the beginning we might not see the scores, but uh, let's see. So, let's go. Okay, so board number one, we have 17 high card points, an unbalanced hand with seven card suit and four losers still for slam i need quite a lot i need actually three top honors the point but the point is that for the game i don't need that much i need like one ace 
one entry to partner's hand for a potential spade finesse or to play towards the heart king or a diamond king maybe with a little bit of luck only the king of clubs might be enough so definitely i would like to bid this hand stronger so options are one spade two clubs or two diamonds forcing to game uh, after two diamonds i'm missing like too much so the options are only one spade and two clubs the problem with one spade is that i don't have a rebid uh, after two clubs and two diamonds i can just bid four spades and if partner will have some extra then he might go he might keep bidding i need an ace and two kings definitely i have to be the declarer the point is that this is match points so three no trumps might be even better but i think i have to go via two clubs and then jump to three spades here i guess or four spades this is a seven card suit so this exactly like describes the hand and after three spades partner can bid four clubs so i like this approach partner with four diamonds which is good enough so that means that he has the hard ace so do i want to ah uh, sorry uh, he has the diamond ace hopefully not a singleton if he has ace queen i can dump my club so i need ace queen and diamonds spade king or the hard ace if partner has the hard ace the grand slam will be based on a finesse maybe even the singleton king might drop um, the problem here might be that even five spades might be too high if partner has only the diamond ace and and like not much not much else so i'm going to bid four hearts as a qubit and i need partner to bid on so now i can show my two key cards plus the queen partners ask for two king for extra kings so this is the way where we might get there so i can show two kings and partner might be the grand six spades only hmm but why did partner ask for two kings if he doesn't have like ace ace king still i need one more but if partner doesn't have one more isn't in match points better to play six no trumps that's a real question which will be definitely interesting to talk about on the live stream but right now i have to make a decision uh, between a pass six no trumps and seven spades but i don't understand why would partner ask for kings if we don't have all the key cards so i don't think that pass is an option here I'm going to bid six no trumps because that's something in the middle. I will be better than those who bid six spades. And I will be worse than those who bid seven spades. Okay, diamond lead. See that partner has exactly what we expected. Uh, seven spades is best because in seven spades I can rough the diamonds and establish them and dump the club loser. And six no trumps. I need to make as well 13 tricks because people will be making 13 tricks in no trumps uh, in spades so I actually have to guess the heart queen how I'm going to play is because they don't see the north hand I'm going to cross with the spade and I'm going to play the hard jack if it's covered i'm home see easy if it's not covered i win with the king cash the diamond ace i will cross with the club and draw all the or draw all the trumps and then cash the ace of clubs and try to play a squeeze and later on uh, get get the spades so right now six no trumps plus one is good and we will see the final scores.
So we are back live and the first board for 88% at the end and you can see that the top score is 7 no trumps, 26 players actually reached it and 55 players uh, found the 7 spades so congrats to those but still there were a couple of uh, people who went down and the majority of people stayed in 4 spades so actually even the six spades making uh, 12 tricks is 70 percent so see that the difference is not that high in between six no trumps and seven spades and it was actually much safer safer to stay in uh, six no trumps on the other hand 13 tricks see also only five percent difference here and guys uh, again Today I will be playing free boards, sorry, free challenges against some of you. Hopefully it will be free, but it's all up to you. So right now there is no one in the list for the draw. What you need to do is actually write in the chat that your nickname challenges Milan and I will put your nickname here and later on you will have the chance to play five boards against me and each board, if you win it, you will get the voucher for 10 diamonds. So you can win up to five diamonds playing against me later on on the live stream. So I'm waiting for you guys to challenge me there. I hope that there will be a, a lot of fun later on too. And... As last time, I'm giving away 50 diamonds for sure. So if I will manage to win most of the boards, then I will make the draw. So from those people who sign up for the challenge, so you can get diamonds actually for free, not even uh, beating me, but you have to sign up for that challenge. And let's go. Okay, board number two. Partner opens one diamond and the right hand defender preempts in three hearts. Where I have an ace. And not just that, I have other aces and a six cards in spades. So this should be a slam because partner shouldn't have wasted values in hearts. So what I need is queen of spades, king queen of clubs and ace of diamonds. Altogether, that's 11 high card points. Well, I need a little bit more for Grand Slam, bud. So the best will be actually Queen of Spades third and Ace King Queen fifth in diamonds. Then I will have four discards, so that would be perfect. So let's go. Three spades should be forcing here. Partner bits four spades. Uh, I just ask for key cards because if partner has one, uh, partner has zero. Partner really has, Partner doesn't have the Ace of Diamonds. That actually makes it now pretty bad. Because I don't have the control of the board. They are going to lead hearts. I might draw the trumps, but I will not have the tempo to discard the heart on the diamond. That's a problem if Partner doesn't have the King of Hearts. Because I'm declaring both spades and no trumps. So if partner is actually having the queen of hearts, which might be a second round, it might be a stopper if East will be leading, but not, not in that. So probably can't. Was four no trumps key cards? Partner really has none. King queen, king queen, queen. He, he might not have such hands. So I have to stay in five. This is really unfortunate. I cannot find out if Pardon has the Heart King or Heart Singleton. He's got the Heart King, he's got the King, he's got King Queen. So actually the slam uh, is relatively easy on this board. So I'm definitely going to lose a couple of match points. And actually six no trumps is the best here. I have still two entries. So I can... Uh, draw the second round and even the third round because I don't want them if East has the Ace of Diamonds I don't want him 
to give partner a hard draft and now I'll just play a diamond. Okay. Sounds fair and easy. So five spades plus one. Okay, board number three with 16 high card points and a semi balanced hand. But with these doubleton honors, I definitely want to declare from my hand. So if I open one diamond and then rebid two hearts or raise, partner will be declaring. And I want to prevent that. So I will open this with one no trump. Partner is free now, so it should be fine if he has a diamond support. Hopefully, we might have two spade stoppers, but we might as well have 10 tricks from top. Okay, we have two stoppers, but we don't have the tricks from top. So, I need to lose the tempo in diamonds. So, four diamond tricks, two spade tricks is six, three hard tricks is nine. Unfortunately, I cannot get the extra club trick because I'm losing two quick tricks with aces and. I will as well lose the tempo uh, and the defenders will establish two rounds of spades. To minimum two, two extra tricks in spades. So how actually to get 10 tricks is try to duck the first round of spades and hope that the one who has ace of diamonds is only doubleton spade. So they have to play hard or club and I can get the trick number 10. So very important to count the winners for your side and also very important to count the winners uh, for opponents. Because right now they might know that if I play the diamond uh, that the player who will have five spades doesn't have an entry and he might not have not play spades anymore because he might not have an entry. And at the end it can work out that I might get the club trick uh, just like that because they cannot cash the spade winners. So definitely good to dug one round of spades and try to work for an extra trick. But right now here I have to make a decision and this is, this is uh, the bad thing that I need to dump the heart or the club uh, in order to know and make the deal since they played the spade. I think I'm going to dump the club because if they will give me one club trick, then, um, well, I don't mind that. Later on, and I don't need a doubleton. Because either they will catch the last winner, or they will have two clubs left. Okay, first diamond discards. I don't want to block myself. Sorry, first hard, first hard discard two hard discards actually three and a four I think one of them will have five one of them will have five ok 
Okay, we'll know very soon if this guy had a doubleton or not. No, so hearts should probably split now. Yeah, this guy had three cards and this this guy had four cards and he discarded one. So this is the way how to get an extra trick. Sometimes um, opponents feel squeezed and see that if the heart will not become a winner, maybe they will keep the ace of clubs and a club if uh, both the spade and hard winner will be in the other hands. So this way I had an option to get an extra trick even if they don't discard uh, badly. Okay, so we have uh, all the people who scored free no trumps for only 69.68%. So actually, most of the people managed to get all the bo uh, all the tricks. Actually, plus one extra. And now I'm looking there in the chat because well, I have only two screens. For next time, I'll probably need three screens because the chat. Whenever you click uh, some screen, the chat just hides behind something else i try to open it on a tablet uh, but then it was not refreshed um, there so yeah that was uh, that's a little bit of an issue but i will try to figure out uh, later too many clicks but right now we have only five players who are challenging me so i'll give you like one last moment before i pick the right cards for the draw so is there anybody else five people it's like more than 50 percent chance that you will get drawn okay here we are so you see, ah, we have Eugene, Eugene M. So I will add one more. Alex. Alex wants to participate. Alex, but you need to write me what is what is your nickname? What is your nickname on Funbridge? O Partizanos. Okay. Oh. Okay, I have you there, so I need to add the nine of spades and the eight of spades. So two more players. So once again, a check. Well, it's the light. I have all the cards there, so it's closed. I'm, I'm shuffling them. Yeah, Kevin, you will see. Okay, so well, I don't have anyone here to to get, but here it is. Here it is. So the first one, the first one is Ace of Spades. So mixed toss is the first one. Paul, you can challenge me. Here we have the second one. Jack. That's the jack, Kevin, you did it. Okay, so Kevin is the second player. And one more, one more here. Nine of spades. Okay, so Eugene, that's that's you. Bang your brains. So Eugene is the third one. For the others, don't worry guys, uh, there might be a chance to win a couple of diamonds for free if I manage to beat these three guys later on. So here we go. Congrats, join the fun bridge and please challenge me there and I will accept during the next board. Board number four and a five five hands. I don't have an opening for two suitor hands. And with having a bad heart suit, I definitely don't want to open here. 
Uh, either west or north will open our overcall spade. So let's see who. Right now I kind of have to bid. Two no trumps will be probably miners, clubs and diamonds. So that's kind of bad. I think, well, I have to bid. This is match points. Um, if they're going to declare, I don't want a hard lead. I want a diamond lead or a club lead. So I might double and if partner bids clubs, then I might bid diamonds to show that I want to compete either in diamonds or hearts. So I think that double is best here. Hopefully partner will not bid the clubs. Th oh, wow. Three hearts. Yeah, well, the point is, do they go to four? Sorry, do they go to three hearts? Because four hearts undoubled might be a good preempt. Uh, for three spades, four opponents. But three hearts is probably making, so I would love to win it here. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Let's see, so partner covers me, the diamond loser, and I have two spades, two hearts, and a club loser. So actually that's a perfect thing here. Uh, I don't think that I can dump the club on the spade, they will not let me. Yeah, even right now, and also not the other way around, I guess. Yeah, well, why not? If I duck, that will not make that much sense. I have to unblock here, kind of, because it should be fine. They will just score two hard tricks. I want to keep a top card on either side. Uh, seven. Okay, I think I can win this one. And which side might get a promotion? I think it doesn't matter, because whoever wins he will be on the trick and we he cannot get partner to the trick so that's fine and the rest is mine laming eight tricks Okay, hope that now the sound is uh, okay, that I managed with the next board and see that Free Hearts is actually 90% score. There are only 13 players, well a little bit more, so 23 players who are better and that's that they managed to beat Free Spades and they pushed opponents there. Uh, when I just clicked here, it was the lightning and he opened one heart and then declared uh, the declare misplayed probably he played the jack of clubs hearts to the ace finessed the queen of spades so that's the first thing and now i think because of the opening uh he didn't know about the high card points oh well he played the low club Okay, and here comes the rest. But right now, playing a low towards the jack, north is scoring queen and the nine there. Okay, so that's board number four. Let me know if you played that. You have about 50 50 chance because there are two sets of boards. Uh, unfortunately, we have to wait until Funbridge uh, just changes that to have all the same boards. Okay, so let's go. Okay, board number five and west opens one heart, partner passes, east open one spade. And I'm sitting with 12 high card points vulnerable. Do I? The question should be first, do I want to show the lead? Do I prefer a diamond lead in, in front of the club lead? 
Possibly they will be playing spades or no trumps, maybe even hearts. Uh, if not, then do I want to compete on the third level with diamonds? I think answer for this is no. Two, three, four, five, six, seven losers were vulnerable. So actually I need partner to cover me to get a good fit. Hmm. Yeah, well, if points are 20 20, but with what hand will partner race to three diamonds here? If I don't bid, it might be relatively easy for them also to show the spade length. If I bid two diamonds, the, the double is now a little bit speculative, so it might be more difficult to find the club fit. Yeah, I think, well, it all depends where is the ace of spades. So I think I prefer the diamond lead in front of the club lead. Wow. Wow. And I won the contract on the second level, which means that partner will be loaded like with 10, 11 points. Only eight and only a doubleton. Well, this is obviously a singleton. Hopefully not. Yeah, but this is this is from five. So this is a singleton king. So West will have four diamonds. Five hearts, four diamonds, three spades, and a singleton club. So I want to end play him kind of. And I need an entry to my south hand. Okay, here we go. I might as well play a low club here, because then I force him to rough. He plays a heart and I play a diamond. No, I want I need to prevent them to cash the hearts. So I think I'm going to play the diamond right now. It doesn't look very good. Oh, wow, that worked. So I'm going to draw the trumps. Because right now I actually have the extra club trick or a diamond. I better play a diamond if I'm false and this guy has six hearts. I also have the chance there that the doubleton jack might drop. Should have dumped the ten of clubs though. Okay, so it's confirmed. I don't need the spade here. And unfortunately Wes is not squeezed with the heart and a club. Trick number four. This is trick number five. And I will lose one more. But one down might be good. They might have 110 there in spades or 120 in no trumps. Well, I'm not sure about that. Two. Whoa! Okay, so I'm back live and for two diamonds I get actually 71%. And uh, there are quite a lot of people better, but uh, either in two diamonds making over tricks and I checked and well, it's a little bit fishy for the East West how they played. And for two hearts, it's uh, really depends because 250 players uh, let two hearts make 66, let them make an over trick and only 46 beat the contract. Well, the top score is beating the contract twice for almost full 100%. So congrats to those guys. We can have a look why, uh, how they can achieve that. So by passing and a heart to the king. So Trump lead playing the king of clubs 
and a spade towards the king. So now the spades are good. Okay, Arjun play now misguessed the hearts. So playing the king of hearts was really essential at this this point. And now the diamond and diamond bag. And uh, this is kind of pity that Declare doesn't have an entry since he crossed with the spade. And now the defense has to make uh, one more heart and one more diamond. So well done. Definitely well done by playing the king of hearts in the first trick and ducking the second heart in the second round. Okay. Okay, board six. And I have a six five hand. And opponents opened four hearts. Ooh. Four loser hands. Well, I have to bid four spades, unfortunately, but we might have the diamond contract, we might not have the spades. What will happen if I bid four spades and was doubled? Do I bid five diamonds? I'm missing four aces, so actually anything can be down for 500. But I have to bid. Slam can be on six no trumps, so that's definitely not a good bid. But if partner is having four aces, then we might have all the tricks. So I don't think that it's necessary to bid seven diamonds here. I might lose, I might lose a trick. It's partner's decision. I guess that this might be kind of an average that everybody will do the same. To bid four spades. Wow, see that we are missing the ace of spades. But for that, after I catch the diamonds, we might actually make uh, all the clubs if they split. If they split. So six and six is 12 and that's 13. The question is, they don't they don't know that North has such good clubs. Unfortunately, if they don't break, I'm going down. I'm going down badly. But this guy had already a singleton diamond and he discarded some spades. So there is a low chance. Now I would need West to discard the club. Nope. Nope. The other chance is that if West gets to the trigger with the full club, I might go only one down because he will be left only with spades. Three and a five. That's promising. That's promising. Come on. Yay. Here we go. So that's it. And this is the board. Seeing whatever spades. Okay, so as Kevin said, yes, this was not a flat board at the end. Because... Uh, People didn't bid initially, so quite a lot and then they end up in six diamonds. So I checked and also the difference in between making an over trick is quite significant because that's 24% difference. And if you end up playing six diamonds, so you reach the slam, you are below average. And this might be the way how you could have managed to, to do that, so if you pass North doubles for takeout and then you bid four spades actually if North will uh, you, you don't have aces but I would bid a bit more and after five clubs uh, five diamonds was there and North raced to six diamonds which is completely reasonable with this hand if partner has spades and diamonds but very difficult after the four heart preempt. It's really interesting that Arjun with um, kind of with this garbage preempt, but it's non vulnerable versus vulnerable. So even six losers is definitely worth. And in the real life, I think everybody will open 
uh, with four hearts here to put the pressure. See that with the spade break, that will be that will be a disaster here. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, this is it. Still, five players were better, and they played like seven no trumps, doubled, and seven clubs. So that was pretty interesting, but lucky that they they couldn't catch the ace of spades. Board seven. Partner opens a spade, and I have a standard raise with one honor trick. Well, a couple of jacks, so possibility to cover a diamond loser if partner is missing the third round. And also the fourth trump can cover uh, fourth round, sorry, third round in spades. So, might I have up to three tricks. Well, two spades will be pretty standard. Uh, the question right now, I'm losing two diamond tricks for sure. I'm losing spade trick. So, guessing the spades right will be kind of essential here. I might dump. Can I dump the diamond on the heart? Well, the problem here is that I don't have entries to play the clubs twice also. So, I need to use one of the entries with the ace of hearts later on. And I don't have two entries to play the spades twice. So I actually have to play a low one here. Uh, win it with the king. Six. I can rough the third round there in hearts if the third queen will drop. Uh, but first, I hope that the spades will be 2 2 or singleton honor drops. Need to keep the five. Okay, see that the double finesse will be the right decision. Okay, this saved me a trick. So now that's it. And they need to catch the diamonds. Ha! Huh. Now I've got the chance. See, he played high low. Which means that he either has a doubleton or he might have fourth queen. So playing the heart is not giving me extra. But if I play on clubs, this guy will rough with, with the honor. I might try to combine actually here. Yeah, I think this one is going to be roughed. Yeah, and they catch the diamond. Too bad. But still the contract's making. I don't think that I could have made extra. Unless the defender makes a mistake. I could have... Okay, and see that for the two spades, it's only 45.47%. If you just make it uh, equal, the over trick you have to gain by winning with the ace of hearts or playing the first two rounds of hearts and uh, playing a low heart and win with the 10 or play the 7 or play the jack or whatever, actually get the extra spade trick, which is worth 41% extra and... Well, that's more 4% in the total, so in that case I will have 73%, and kind of same also with the second trick. So this is where I missed like 8% uh, with in the in the final scores. Uh, Simon is saying that that was his worst board, three spades and lost two trump tricks for minus one. Yeah, so that's a disaster if you end up one level higher and invite or actually get there. Minus 50 is terrible. There were also people who went for minus 100, but there is actually not that much uh, that much of a difference. Okay, in board number eight, 
we got 23 high card points balanced. So I have options to open it two clubs and then rebid two neutrons to show 22, 23. Or, which I a little bit prefer, to bid two diamonds to show like 23 plus. Because I have all the aces. And after two diamonds, partner might be two neutrons to have like two kings and better hand. Because after two clubs I might not get that bid. Kind of have four losers, four honor losers, so I need two kings and something. But I prefer to open two diamonds here. I might see, see, here we go. So partner has like two kings, zero aces. I know that you don't have aces. At least six points. So I will bid three no trumps to show the balance hand. Uh, right now partner can bid a stamen or four spades is showing at least six clubs. Wow. So right now if he has king queen in clubs, then suddenly my hand got nuts. Because so I might finesse the majors, establish one of them, discard the other one. So I might not need that much. Blackwood asking for kings. Wow. Well, that's actually quite good. This is all new to me. This bit shows two kings and I do not hold the queen of trumps. And accept the king of trumps. So I know that partner has two kings in majors. Is that right? Then I'm definitely going no trumps. But because I might make six no trumps without the clubs. Well, that would be, of course, like very lucky. But if partner has the king of spades and the jack drops, if partner has king jack in hearts and the king of clubs, then. Okay, so I'm going to bid six no here. How do I find out about the club owners? Sign off. Okay, well, let's go 6 no. Because it's match points, so it should be 6 no trumps, not 6 clubs. Okay, partner has 6 clubs. But he actually got, what was the explanation? 2 kings and not the queen of trumps. And except the king of trumps. I think that's not right, but I don't mind. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and a potential of extra trig in free suits. So this is actually quite good. I need to watch the signals. So the 9 might be from Jack 9, 8, 4, something like that, because this is either a 5 card or a 3 card. Or maybe a doubleton honor. Because this is essential uh, to plan for the squeeze. Okay, jack drops. That's a good sign. If queen jack drops, then I'm good. And I think queen jack will drop. Oh, here we go. Because the other guy dropped the two. So suddenly we are playing for a grand slam. How to do that? I will dumb one. So I need to, I need to kind of cash the diamond first. Um, I will cash. Can dump a spade. I can actually dump two spades. They see the dummy. Two of spades should be an odd number of cards. Probably five. Uh, it depends who who is longer in the di in diamonds. Okay, here we get the the eight. And right now actually I want to play the diamond first. High low. I think the spade finesse is the best option there. I could have actually this was a mistake. I could have like played the spade finesse. Because unfortunately for the squeeze, so this guy had a doubleton diamond. So West had five diamonds and two clubs. He could have had only 
high low only two spades if he had four spades he will have four two hearts if he has two spades he will have four hearts Uh, so how to squeeze him in diamonds and hearts so if he doesn't have the king of spades he should have the hearts and diamonds so on clubs I can dump the diamonds and play a double squeeze for east if he has the king of spades and four hearts he will be squeezed on the last club if not then I have another option then this guy is squeezed in diamonds and hearts so this is some kind of a double squeeze, double show up squeeze potentially. I would love to catch the hearts first and then, then play that, but uh, it's not an option. So actually I will do it like this. Even the eight of spades uh, might be actually a threat there. Here we go, the jack drops. Okay, I don't need the diamonds. Oh, we got the hardest, two hardest cards. So I think we are fine. He was squeezed. I think the spade finesse was on. This guy discarded a third spade. Third spade. So I think that the hearts are good. So the spade was off, so that's the good thing, but the heart was not. Wow, could I? Okay, so 93.52% for bidding six no trumps and making, that's great. Still six clubs is a great score for 85%. The rest just stayed in three no trumps. There were three better players who reached like seven seven no trumps and somehow made that the defenders. Ma oh wait, they didn't make it on this deal. You could have made a seven no trump contract without east west preventing. So let's watch again and find out. Okay, so it's a it's a diamond it's a spade diamond squeeze ba actually, so I would I would need to catch the hearts first, catch the diamonds, draw the clubs, and then West will be in the spade diamond squeeze. But you have to catch three hearts first, and that's what you cannot do if you are not like hundred percent sure that the clubs are dropping. Well, in a Grand Slam you actually need the club's drop, so if you are playing 7-0 trumps, I think you might make after you cash the ace and the jack drops, you see the two. Then it's definitely better to cash the hearts first and the diamonds and then try to find the right squeeze there. So pretty, pretty interesting uh, board, board here, but just reaching to 6 I think 93% is good enough. Okay, board number 9. 21 high card points. Again, all aces. But 1, 2, 3, 4 losers again. But 2 on queens and 2 on kings. Unfortunately, partner club values... I will not have time to find out unless I open a heart and and we get some kind of the strong fit with hearts. The problem is that I might play one heart and we might have enough. But if partner doesn't have a fit and an honor, I don't want to be in four. So I think I'm going to open a heart simply because if I open two clubs, uh, it will be very difficult to find the spade fit and then we will be playing three no trumps from the weak side. So I'm going to open a heart and hope that partner bits. Okay. Do I want to go higher? I mean, partner didn't raise me to free.
Of course, I can imagine that we might have a slam, any any king, so let's say two kings, any two kings, and doubleton spade. And a four card fit. Can I find out? I don't think so. I don't want to play no trumps because of the ace, so I just go four. I mean... I don't want to gamble for a top score here since I don't have the good thing how to figure out. See that the Queen of Clubs is useless. I will have troubles uh, there in hearts. Probably the best is to play the heart from north if there is a doubleton king with east. I will, have an, I will not have another option to play the jack later on for the doubleton 10 if I decide otherwise because I don't have a quick entry I don't have two quick entries I think it's better to play a low heart towards the queen because the singleton king in, on, in front works uh, the jack anywhere singleton sorry the 10 so I'm going to win in spades I'm going to play from top so Relatively, I'm going to lose a diamond anyway. I I will or not lose a spade. So the point is how to play the hearts well. Six. Okay, so this solves the problem of the ten of hearts and splitting four one. I actually want to cash one heart just in case it seems that they split 4-1. 5, 3. So this is the lowest one. So there will be the queen 10 dropping there. That will be queen 10 dropping. So if so... Then actually I might play kind of the squeeze there. If the player with four diamonds will have as well the king of clubs. And even if this doesn't drop, I think I'm still able to perform that. Unless they play a diamond. I need them to play a club. Yeah, too bad. Well, they might not know about the diamonds. So, this guy discarded a diamond, so there's only one diamond left. So, let's do it like this. Discard a diamond, because the singleton king of clubs will not drop. And how about now? Do they know the count? Okay, they knew. See? Well, he will be squeezed. That's too bad. He was squeezed, but I didn't have the tempo. I didn't have the tempo. <laughs> Okay, the sound, the microphone, and here we have the 55.56% and the majority made just 10 tricks, but there are still quite a lot of people, almost uh, 100, who made an over trick and I checked, it's not easy, I thought that one, one of the options might be to play the ace of spades and then low spade towards the jack and that he doesn't jump with the queen. But uh, when I tested, he jumped. So what was uh, the play is actually that West was afraid to lead from his club. So after you drew the trumps and cash one round of spades, you play the ace of diamonds diamond. And West, when he got to the trick, he was afraid to lead a club. So he underlet his doubleton queen of spades. And that was actually the extra trick there. So, yeah, a little bit of a mistake, but a big difference again, almost 40%, so in total 4% um, in the final score. 
Okay, thank you, thank you, Kevin. That uh, you confirmed that with the T-shirts, it's uh, it's good that you know uh, what is live and what is not. I still have uh, a couple of improvements uh, in the pocket, but let me know. Let me know, guys, if uh, if you think that this is fine or what to improve. Some technical things I can improve, but I cannot. I cannot change the Funbridge app, sorry guys. Okay, and the last deal of my set of boards. Again, a nice hand with 19 high card points, so definitely it seems to be three no trumps. Um, one diamond, one heart, two no trumps, but I might as well upgrade the hand and open two no trumps immediately. Because if I open one diamond and partner bids a no trump, we might play from the wrong side. And that might be actually an issue. We'll find the spade fit anyway, so I'm going to upgrade the hand a little bit. Okay. So. Partner doesn't have much, but. I get. Well, the question is, do I want to play the 9? I think I want to play the 9, because if the lead is from 10, then uh, I might even get an entry. And if not, then I push the king there. So I have 3, 4, 5, 6. And I need to establish the diamonds. Maybe I might get a hard trick there. So let's see, low diamonds and the jack wins. So the plan is to cross with the club and play the diamonds towards the king 10. Okay, that's good I play the 9 to push the king. Because if I play the 7, he will play the 8, I guess. Ah. Okay, right now the big decision. Did West play a low from Doubleton Queen or Doubleton Ace? I think it's more likely to play it from Doubleton Ace. Doubleton Queen, he might put it, put it up. So I'm going to play the 10. Here we go, I guessed it right. I have guessed it right. So now I have an extra entry. And I have a, another push. For them to discard wrong. Club. Heart. Club. Because right now I have an option to play a low heart towards the jack. If there is a doubleton on her, then it will drop. I might as well play the 10. So let's see. This guy, West, has a spade. He discarded a club already. Well... I don't remember what were the club discards, but based on the jack dropping, he discarded two. Can he have five hearts left? It would be strange. West would discard from two. So I think there should be one club with East. So West started with four spades, two diamonds, I guess four hearts and three clubs. And he discarded a club. So I think if I play a club. Wow. They discarded three. So I think now playing a club and end play west. With a spade. Should give me the extra trick. Oh no, West has the club. Because now if, if East would have the club and the heart on her, West will need to play a heart and if East plays an honor, then I will end play West to give me an extra heart trick. So too bad, hope that East doesn't have both King, Queen and hearts. Doesn't look like. Yeah, okay. And there was not even a doubleton honor.
Okay, so that was it. That was the last board and I think that there were not that many people who just opened two no trumps because uh, there are only 60 players here on the list. Well, there will be a couple of extra who probably scored a trick and got the top score. But see that most people open a diamond and then east-west uh, either played a no trump or played two hearts and scoring the 200, that's the jackpot for this board. So another 30, well, 28%, uh, which is like 2.8. So definitely with the set of boards I have played, I could have managed to make like 11, 11 plus, plus 11 percent so i could have made over over 80 percent uh but let's go and have a look here okay i will put the live chat here and i have everything ready but the scores uh, again because there are so many players it takes some time to like get there so we'll get to the top Kevin scored 68%. Yeah, well, uh, okay, so we had two Indian guys winning with 86%. Wow, so that's that must be like hitting every everything. But see that seven players actually scored over 80% with 10 boards. So there were not that many flat ones and well basically it was possible really possible to score over 80% if you hit all the jackpots. So yeah, how about how about you guys? How did you do? Uh I end up fourth. So we have Hanoi leading or now it's it's the end of the tournament. So he won with 74.77%. Christian, congrats for the second place with 71.23. Uh, and uh, card, card work, uh, Patrick, uh, which we chatted today for some extra. Okay, well, um, I, sh I shouldn't, should not click uh, in here like that. Uh, has beaten me as well. So then all of you guys are here. I see that Kevin a little bit less than 68% still on the main screen and if I scroll down a little bit so we'll see O Partizanos here on the chat uh, who else is there Craft here Tuchniak is nice because he's the only, well, two more guys from the Czech Republic played uh, here on Funbridge, the Bridge International Championships, which is quite sad because I think that that's uh, really a nice competition and I tried to promote, but I completely understand why you are not playing that. Okay, so we have uh, Crystal here and Simon. It's 120 boards per four days and it's a lot. It's a lot, I must say that even for me. And if you just watch uh, like the timing, what, what I did, you see that one tournament took me like half an hour. So uh, it's like five hours of playing, which you might not have if uh, you have kids at home. So in Czech Republic, the schools are closed. So if you have children uh, in the primary, secondary, even high school, you have them at home, you have to work, you have to cook and stuff. So it's not easy to, to play in these days. Uh, but also what is, what is interesting is uh, that once I had a good run, uh, then uh, it's actually good to play so see that i started at uh, three the good run at the beginning I, I had three kind of bad scores but then i had 65 percent becoming second in the tournament and the next one after i took uh, coffee see there are 68 percent and immediately next one i scored 76 and then i played one more i thought let's go since i'm doing that well 
but then it dropped to 49 so see that 36 boards straight then you probably need a break so today uh, I played just one tournament well I made two mistakes so easily I could have had over 70% well, two mistakes, Arjun kind of screwed me up. Uh, you will see tomorrow uh, tomorrow evening on the video. And uh, yesterday, no, on Tuesday, I actually played two in the morning and one in the afternoon, which were quite okay, the, the next ones. So let's go. So this is the Bridge International Championships. The finals will be on the weekend. So guys, cross the fingers. It will be definitely a great competition. So we've got the challenges here and we have Paul, Eugene and Kevin. Who was the first? Uh, where do we find out? Here. Here we find out. So first Kevin was like extremely fast. Eugene was reasonable and Paul took his time. So well let's play him the first uh, so we start we start with kevin here so dr kev he was the fastest and we'll we'll keep keep uh, going there so let's go kevin now guys i need your help especially from those who uh, invited me for the challenge because again, if I will win all the boards, there will be 50 diamonds for draw between the others. So basically, everybody will win and there will be 10 extra diamonds, which I might give someone to the best advice to me. <sighs> Kevin is saying fastest, but not, not the best. Uh, now I might have the easy setup so I will make make the chat a little bit uh, larger for the font and let's go 14 high card points and we already had uh, suggestions from Simon and Alex to upgrade the hands to 1-0 Trump and for that always uh, when you're upgrading you should be thinking about two things so one is actually the source of tricks in here the diamond suit is good the second one is positioning so when you are opening one of trump you will be declaring most of the contracts and not if if not all uh if i will open one diamond partner will most likely be the major and i will be the no trump so in this situation it's not the issue for one no trump i'm used to have like four to five useful honors in here it kind of corresponds with the extra well king queen and diamonds in the long suit ace queen connected jack 10 and queen of clubs well they might produce like something so i kind of agree to upgrade this hand but not i'm not like entirely like excited about that i wouldn't say it's an easy one no trump but it it is a one no trump uh, right now I might regret a bit because three hearts is a strong hand with six card so I don't want to encourage my partner I guess so I'll just show that I have a minimum hand and he will keep bidding of course so I have to follow the lead and tell him that I have an ace asking for the queen okay guys do we show that we have the queen are we confident in guessing it who will tell me because this might be not just plus 10 diamonds for Kevin but it might be as well the challenge and I like to give away the diamonds I don't like to lose the challenge so yeah Daniel is not gambling with six hearts well, we might be missing, the best will be if we will be missing like King Queen in hearts. Crystal is not gambling and it might be not just about the Queen. But if partner has the Ace of Diamonds, since, well, partner is declaring, so the spade lead is actually bad. 
Kevin is Kevin is uh, that's that is question yeah it's a question so and Christian is not uh, okay so let's stay in five hearts and let's not gamble here even five hearts might go down because if Parton doesn't have the spade king or they lead the club through uh, it can be a disaster okay so the spade through partner has the ace of diamonds we have a nine card fit so that's all good and in here i think i have to win with the ace try to draw two rounds of hearts and actually dump a spade on the diamond so it is about dropping the queen of hearts or guessing it right Okay, two, that might be five spades. Well, let's play the jack just for fun. Seven. It might be odd number. Uh, what are we missing? I'm missing the, um, the eight and the queen. So if I cross with the diamonds... But I don't want to cash three rounds of diamonds, only if they split free free. So that's where I might cash the ace. If I see the three and a five. Three, three and a seven. Because I might guess the queen of hearts if it is third with west. Because West actually played and he has odd number of spades. Now we might see if he has an odd number of diamonds. And that means that he will signal even from 7 and 8. So I cannot guess that right. He will have an odd, odd number, uh, odd hands, let's say. So I have to catch that. Okay. So, no way if... That was good not to gamble, guys. That was good not to gamble. And this guy followed the diamond, so we're safe in five. But, boy, that was close. Erika also d is not gambling. Good decisions. Thank you guys for the help. I was... I don't know. If I will be playing myself... I'll probably gamble it. Okay, now I lose the ace of clubs. And the king was offside, so that's that's good. Uh, I might try to steal a trick, actually. No, I can't. Because the diamonds didn't break. And they took it immediately. So, that's it. Up the way up, easier, so the same. Here we go, 1-0 trump, two diamonds, two hearts, so you don't have the setup of strong jumps, which actually was quite good. Uh, no, you play a weak no trump. No, you, yeah, I think, Kevin, you played the weak no trump, right? Can you please confirm, because if, if I watch here... I see the 1517, so that's my setup, not your setup. But I think if I remember well, you are playing a weak no trump. Yeah, here we go. See, I know you guys, and we didn't met yet, and I already know your style. Um, 10 high card points. I don't think this is worth opening. No ace, no kings. So we might need to overcall later on. But partner is opening, so that's fine. Now the question is, is this an invitational hand? So what do we do right now after one diamond, one spade, two clubs? What do we do? We have options. Two spades will be non-forcing but showing six. Two no trumps is an invitation with, well, let's say good 10, 11 high card points. We're past hand, so 10, 11. Two diamonds might be the weak, weak bit here, just a correction. Oh. 
stuff, we're vulnerable. So every under trick is kind of free imps. Five if it is just one and Kevin will make. So what would you bid? What would you do if you will be sitting in my seat? Bang your brains is inviting. So I guess that's two no trumps. The other option is like force to game with the fourth suit or let's say I'm a past hand so two hearts is also like worth where we might play from north and we might have also options to give partner a chance to be two spades. Naomi and Paul is bidding two no trumps. Simon Simon M is bidding two hearts. At this moment, we have just one Simon on the on the live stream, so that's easier. Norwalt, welcome. So two hearts uh, is in general forcing to game, but I'm a past hand. So two hearts from Arjun is exactly 11 high card points here, but same as two no trumps. And I think I like the two hearts the most because partner might be two spades. If I bid two no trumps, he will bid three spades if he has three. But I mean, I don't mind if partner will be declaring with queen 10 third and if partner has the heart stopper, if not, uh, then we might be playing free clubs or free diamonds. So that's the other issue of bidding two hearts. But if Pardon doesn't have a heart stopper, I'm not sure if I want to play two no trumps. Okay, Paul J bids two hearts and Christian bids two no. So it's about 50 50 on your side. I will choose two hearts to, to try for the free card. And now I have to pass, unfortunately. Because if Pardon doesn't have the heart stopper, I have to play on a 5 2 fit. That was the risk I had to take. So two more two no trumps could have been better. Alex would have bit two no trumps. Erica bits two no trumps. Okay, so right now we have more people who would bid two no trumps. Let's see if that would be right. Spade contract is good and actually four spades is very reasonable. Four spades actually can make if spade jack drops and either clubs are free free or I will manage to establish the queen of hearts or the diamonds at the end but well wait I'm playing three diamonds that's important to say because of the lead ace queen is sorry ace king of hearts is with east I don't like this because they're probably going to give each other a club rough uh, spade contract is better hard contract five six seven eight there might be eight tricks but if I bid two no trumps, partner has 15, so he will bid three no trumps. And they will cash minimum three hard tricks and, and a club ace. So it really depends with the queen of diamonds. This is kind of how you play a board match. So three no trumps will make if the queen of diamonds is on side and they split free free unfortunately now in trumps i might not get the proper signal so i cannot cross i'm i'm thinking to play from top for the doubleton queen of diamonds drop or well i might even play two rounds of diamonds and try to dump the heart on the spades so they might rough with the queen it's another option because they didn't manage 
I might actually try that. They might split 3-3. Free, free. So how about spades? 7. And a 6. So spades definitely split 4-2. So the third round of spades will be roughed. But it can be roughed with the queen. And I'm afraid that they will rough the club. So this way I'm losing only 2 trumps and the club. So I will be... Well, wait. Uh, two trumps and a club. I will. I will lose two clubs. So that's not good. But I think the ace is there. So I might actually establish. No, I will not establish the heart. Okay, he roughed with the queen, so that's good. Now, if he gives the club rough, I need to play the low one here. And he didn't win. So I can draw the last trump and secure the contract by losing only two clubs now. Okay, they didn't split. He could have gave him the rough, but then he will not score the seven of clubs. So actually, trick for a trick. And this is a plus score, which actually I'm happy about, because the queen of diamonds was offside. So three no trumps is not there. Um, but heart split 3-3, but still. And the spade jack doesn't drop. So neither of the long suits breaks, so this should bring... What's 5 imps? 7 imps, 3 no trumps, 2 down. Yeah. So good thing if I actually bid two no trumps, partner bids three no trumps. So guys, the winning bid here was two hearts and of course then passing three diamonds and making. So, so far no diamonds for Kevin and the 7-0 lead. Okay, one diamond pass, one spade and a 13 count thank you kevin but this is a group decision so everybody who bids two hearts help me because uh, if there will be only two no trumps bidders i will i will follow the chat i will follow the majority but right now i i can't have a decision with 50 50. jean michel welcome on the live stream So, how about now? <laughs> two hearts. So, in here I might double. I might bid two hearts. I might also pass, kind of. But, well, that's chicken since we are non-vulnerable. So, Simon, Simon is bidding two hearts again. Yeah, I think it's too hard here. I uh, play a sandwich no trump, but only if I'm a passed hand. And it, sh it should be that the other two suits um, are different, so the minor is longer. Paul bits too hard too. Christian bits too hard. Yeah, well, the double might be risky, but as well it might, it might be good. Well, three diamonds, pass, pass. So now we push them. Now we would have chosen the double. So let's see in the end. Maybe, Naomi, you were the only one right here so far. Okay, low hard. I play low from a doubleton. So actually, uh, I think I'm giving a partner rough. But which suit do I want to return? I mean, I have both kings, so I want to partner to return anywhere he has the ace or a diamond. Diamond honor the best. Okay, so it's not rough, so partner has a doubleton. Well, maybe even a singleton, okay. Six of spades. 
Hmm, so I probably prefer the spade. So if three downs is six and he has four, he will have a singleton and a doubleton. Okay. Well done. So now I definitely want a club because I will either it will get roughed and I will score my king of spades. Okay, Parton had already two aces, so he will not have one more. So my only chance is that there is a singleton ace of spades with West. And I will score the king there. It's a better thing to hope. Nope. Partner, that was a mistake. Well, anyway, we have already five tricks, but I think we needed that might be three imps. That might be three imps uh, we missed. Too bad. Yeah, that's three imps. And congrats, Kevin. This is your first 10 diamonds. Okay, well... How about if I play a low heart there? So I win with the king. Cash the ace. Six. Well, six is an indifferent. It's definitely not the lowest. Okay, he caches the ace of diamonds. I discard the low one. He caches the ace of clubs. And what is he going to play? Spade. Okay, so it actually didn't matter what, what I do. Yeah, diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. You can use them later on if you win two boards. It's a must to participate in the Czech Federation tournaments. That's exactly 20 diamonds. If you win only 10, well, you have to add your 10. A high club to show an odd number of clubs. Yes. Hmm, that's a good idea. To false card. To false card partner so he doesn't screw up. Because I knew. Yeah, Paul, you are right. High club. I want to check. Sorry guys, but this is important for later. Uh, and for other generations. Because it's okay if you lie. Pardon doesn't mind and it brings you a better score. So actually, I, right now I have to throw a different club. So let's try the aid. Yeah, okay, that's it. So now I'm going to score a spade and I will tie. So you found it, Paul. See, that's why the group chat is the best, because together we might find the, the best line and we might learn the most. And it's not just you who is, who is learning, uh, but it's also me. And I really, need, I really need it before the weekend, because this might be a huge difference scoring only 100 instead of 200. So right now I'm going to overcall because if they're going to play spades uh, or no trumps by West, then I want a diamond lead. If I, on the other hand, if I pass, they might play and partner might find the lead. On Saturday and Sunday I, I will be playing the final of the Bridge International Championships. So I already showed you that I qualified, a lot of people qualified. And there will be six tournaments only, and four of them will be counted for your average. So let's go. Yeah, 
one, two, three, four defensive tricks actually. So if Pardon doubles for takeout, I'm passing. Ah. Okay, Paul, if you didn't finish the boards yet, then uh, you might start. You don't have that much time. And playing 12 boards, it takes some time to play well. Okay, so let's see. Five. Uh, that's the lowest one, so partner should have a doubleton. It might be the queen, though. Uh, he might... no, queen... queen nine five. Well, sometimes... Sometimes he's too scared to play the nine. I kind of don't want the spade rough. But I might get a hard promotion. Partner will have a singleton hard, I guess. And I want to shorten declare. So hopefully they are 2 2. Okay, they are 2 2. And now I need partner to rough this. And to rough this high. Uh, let's, let's return a diamond. Okay, well, if this is high, I'm good enough. He roughed. That's important. Because now I have two entries. Kind of. Yeah, well. Oh, too bad. Should have ducked the spade, but I thought that he will figure that out anyway. That uh, he has to play a low one and the club would become good and he will discard the spade, so that's why I jumped with the ace. How about the score? Zero imps, so no diamonds and no imps. So last board and I'm leading by four imps only. That's a close fight. 10 high card points, I guess no one is opening with this hand. 1 no trump, and I guess everybody is bidding 3 no trumps with this hand. So this one might be re relatively flat. Let's see for the card play. Okay, 2 in spades, 1 in hearts, 3 in clubs, 1 in diamonds. That's 7. Seven top tricks. They have none. But the hard suit is far worse than the spade suit. And I don't have that many entries to south hand. If I want to establish the diamonds. And I don't have other options. So actually I will duck and win with the ace of spades. Because then they might continue playing spades. And not play the hearts. And also I need to keep the King of Spades entry to establish an extra diamond. Yeah, let's see. Oh, well. I hope that they don't split 5-1. Okay, they split 3-3 free, free, it seems. So that's actually good. And the spade, I don't mind. I'm winning. And this I mind. Because now he makes three spade tricks and two diamond tricks and I'm one down. Three, four, five, six, seven. But I might get eight tricks anyway only. So I actually have to play the diamond here. I have no choice. You have the king. Not really. I dump the club. I 
But they both discarded the club. Okay, Martin has a question, um, but let's let's discuss it after we finish this one. Um, if I win with the ace and play a diamond, they will cash all the hearts and spades. So I have to, I actually have to cash out. Mm, give me a club. Okay, so clubs now split. I will go one down. I'll go voluntarily one down. Okay. Let's see what's the final score. Minus five. Wow. Two spades only. That's the Wigno Trump again. That's the Wigno Trump. Kevin, congrats for winning the challenge. And for winning 20 diamonds. Wow. Okay, so one spade by North because you are playing a Wigno Trump. Two spades race. And on a 5 1 split, you managed to make. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Bravo. See the different style in KO actually makes makes a big difference here. Okay, so what do I do here is making it right here that Kevin is green and I will give him 20. Okay, safe. Uh, let's get back, uh, Martin, about signaling at previous board. Why is attitude not a fun bridge option? Not French style. You have to ask the French people. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, my... Well, I have an idea, I know, because uh, the high card points, it's much more easier to uh, to guess actually to calculate and then there are not that many combinations of uh, how the high card points might split so for the computer it's much easier to if, if the computer knows the distribution perfectly uh, then to calculate what are the probabilities of of the honors and stuff with various differences and Therefore, might choose the best best line based on knowing the count. And uh, well, of course, the, the best signaling is actually to show what partner needs in that situation. And I think the algorithm if for for that is impossible at this moment to be kind of right. Um, although there there might be options. But then uh, what I what I learned is that if you go the approach that the artificial intelligence is learning by itself, uh, they will manage, but only with the computers. So once you need the computer to play with a human, you have to actually teach it and not let it play and find the best way by experience. So that's that's the two different approaches and one will work if you just have the computers playing against you. They will play way better if you let them play and figure out their own style. But right now, not only that you have to follow uh, actually some rules to play with people, you even need to put the setup there that, uh, that the computer behaves and the algorithms are different on those setups. So I believe that's definitely not that easy. Because normally computers are playing uh, just with them and 
when you have the computers playing against uh, or with people then they start making a lot of mistakes okay buzzy take care what do we have uh, Kevin I tried to get the diamonds last week but couldn't work out how to catch the watcher okay here we go uh, it's actually pretty easy so Kevin this is for you Paul is also off thank you Paul for joining so if you go to play bridge uh, you have two options either you can show your account uh, but I'm normally going via here the shop and gift code so shop and gift code and here you enter the gift code of course you have to sign up first and here if you go uh, the other way so you click you sign up and then you click my account and then actually if you go here gift code so you scroll down here and you enter enter code and you get to the same page and here you just enter uh, the code I'm sending you if you win the diamonds every code is 10 diamonds so this way they will be added to your account and basically if you want to give it to someone else then um, you can so whoever sign up uh, to that page and you add the uh, voucher will be added with 10 diamonds so actually I'm giving you also gifts to your friends uh, if you have and if you have enough or if you don't want to use them or you think that your kids family members or friends will enjoy it more okay 15 high card points uh, we have Eugene okay well wait we want to check so Eugene is from Moscow and he has an average of plus 2.28 imps so this won't be that easy this won't be that easy okay tough opponent we don't know what is his setup so Eugene are you there are you still on the live stream 5-5 five, five. well we open a heart but two four five six losers so based on 15 high card points this is a really bad 5-5 five, five. how about now so what about now do we bid free clubs What do you mean that you have that you have the bad feeling? If you win a single board, you get ten diamonds. So don't worry if uh, you didn't make a single if you didn't make all the boards. Well, Daniel free clubs by the way bang your bros is Eugene for those I forgot to but I had to check everybody makes mistakes so that's fine but uh, we are here in many and Daniel and Christian bids free clubs here so they're both for going 200 off how about others yeah, well, I'm not sure. Pardon didn't bid. Single boards. Okay. Simon passes. <laughs> yeah, well, Kevin, but now you have, I think, two wins already. Crystal passes. Yeah, well, that's what I'm afraid. Pardon didn't bid too hard. So most likely he doesn't have the fit and if he has a hard fit he will have a really rubbish hand the king of clubs is very probably offside because west should be stronger the queens are useless partner might have a six diamonds three spades and a two two hand maybe a three one yeah we have a five five guys but alex Buzzy in Calgary passes to Yeah, I think I'm 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 passing. 
I don't want to risk vulnerable. I mean, in teams, if they make like two spades, they score 110. Right now, unfortunately, I will get a hard lead and not a club lead. So probably if I bid three clubs, they might not reach three no trumps. But we might get doubled for 500, so... Yeah, if we get doubled for 500, that will lose a lot. Okay, four spades. So they might have reached four spades anyway. Let's see. Maybe they misplay. Partner has a doubleton or a four card. But more likely a doubleton. Because West bits two no trumps. The club king is onside. Wow. Do you see what I see? He finished. And if he has only five spades, that's because we didn't bid. Wes doesn't know that we are that strong. So now I'm giving partner the hard rough. And I want him to switch to clubs. But I think that's the high one. I think it's a circle circulated... Um, suit preference so the high one means the highest suit higher higher suit which is paid and then clubs low one will be diamonds at least at least i think so oh oh he's out of trumps like really he's really out of trumps Ah, this is go. It is going down. I have to score a club. Okay. Okay. But only one. Plus hundreds. Um, that would score a couple of imps. Eleven. Eleven, guys. See, that's the three clubs. So suddenly that makes the difference. Because after the three clubs, then uh, they will cash my queen of spades. And that's the biggest issue here. And pardon leading a club, then I might be ants played actually and give him the heart and, and then something. So, yeah. No, oh, well, they, they let it hard anyway. But but see, now they he played the spades right and that's enough for making. So... That's that's actually the thing. Sometimes if you don't bid, uh, you get you get extras. So that's the eleven imp by just passing and not showing the distribution. Two spades, two no trumps asking, and I have thirteen high card points. Which you do I want partner to lead? I think I don't care, right? Yeah, well, it's not everybody's choice, but since I had five, I don't know if he could calculate that he might fall that I have six hearts, actually. But I didn't bet. I had a singleton diamond, so I might have more diamonds and really just singleton spade. So I think for him, for the computer, it's kind of 50-50 if you play the finesse or not. I would be really wondering of uh, what will happen if like 100 people will play this. Yeah, see, well, Kevin, I don't know what is what is behind there. But right now I don't want to bid because uh, I don't know what's the best lead. I will let partner to choose the best lead. I want to double here. Yeah, but well, is anybody doubling? I will probably score only three tricks, but partner should have something. Hmm.
Yeah, Daniel, it's usually that if you do... Well, I think West will be not void in clubs. I think East might be void in clubs. So... Paul J from Amsterdam is passing to... Yeah, well, I guess we don't want to gamble here. It's not match points, so we cannot get that that much. We probably don't beat it twice. But here we go. After the diamond leads, I think we're going to beat the contract. Unless East is having a singleton heart, but then he will lose one extra diamond. Do we duck? <laughs> Is there anybody who will duck? Okay, Kevin and Christian would have doubled. Pardon, play the 9. He might have the 10 9 5. So if Declare has doubled, and will he finish the second round? I think he will. If he has a free card, then it doesn't matter. But then I need to find out uh, the clubs. I think partner is having 9, 10, doubleton. Ah. <laughs> 11 is in reserve. Well, we might lose 12 on this one. If I if I duck and it's it's wrong. Well, he bit free because he has a minimum and they are bidding values. They are not bidding singletons. So actually we have no idea. The French style is showing values. They are showing singletons on fourth level and only with extras, I think. Crystal is ducking. I mean, it's fun. Let's see if he will play the second round of finesse. Why duck? Is because uh, the Claire might have three diamonds. He's most likely have three diamonds, only two clubs. And if I don't duck and cash the clubs, he will rough and dump the diamond on the hearts. So that this way by ducking, I might get an extra trick there. And also I might cash the wrong wrong cards. He might have a singleton singleton club and four diamonds. So that's the reason I'm ducking and see. Yay! Here we go. This is for the brave ones. Uh, at the end it might be not, not worth anything. If he has three clubs to the queen then it's not worth anything but I, I want to catch the clubs from top four that's the lowest one so partner should have four clubs and we should score a diamond trick here we go and that will be couple imps extra but I really made the risk if he win he will still go down One. Oh, whoa! Again, three clubs. And... Probably if you play three rounds of clubs. Now you played a spade. So far, so good. But uh, right now you are too late with the diamonds. And that's what happens. That was happens. See that the club lead was bad. So again, you bit clubs. And by bidding, you are actually losing. Because it was all about getting, get, getting rid of the entry for the established hearts. And right now, if you duck the, the heart, it will not help you. Because he has the diamond ace there and he will have two discards. So, see how big difference it might be that you just don't bid. 
Well, Eugene, don't worry about that. I think it's it's really... Well, it's difficult to return the diamonds, but... Well, you could have seen that the, that the hearts will be probably established and that the diamond ace is an entry. As well, you could have won the first club with the king and play return a low club. So partner wins the second round of, of clubs and he plays a diamond. But maybe he might be not leading a diamond from queen jack. Yeah, Paul. By bidding, you are losing. And this might be the same thing. So, do you bid or not? That's the question. Bid or not to bid? That might be the topic of the evening. Twice it was good not to bid. Kevin doesn't. How about other opinions? Always with an ace, Crystal. Oh, I agree. Uh, Buzz in Calgary, not. By bidding, we might overbid. But actually, what's the difference is that if we pass, we might be playing one spade on a 5-1 fit, where we might actually have four hearts on the board. Or we might have uh, any other better contract. So Buzzy not, Christian not. Ivan, welcome. Ivan is not bidding. Crystal, it's just you and me. But I agree, we have an ace. Guys, we have an ace and Jack-10. And we have four hearts. So I don't want to play one spade when we can make four hearts. So I'm going to bid. I'm not happy about it, but I'm going to bid. See, two clubs, and here we go, double. Well, I will pass right now, but I think three clubs would be... Maybe I might even bid three clubs here. Take out. Okay, Crystal, I will be... If you are uh, right in all the bets, then I will listen to you. Uh, well, I should have asked you what you have done here. Two diamonds, ouch. Maybe I should have bid three clubs immediately. Now, do you bid or do you let them play? Well, I have a singleton that's good in defense too. I have a trick and possibly two roughs. But Crystal is bidding free clubs. Daniel, Paul, Simon, you are all bidding free clubs. I might have three, de three defensive tricks here. And are we going to make... Well, we might make free clubs if partner is having a five card. If he's... Sorry, a four card. If he's having only three cards and he will have the hand like 15, 17 -ish. 17-ish. It's right to pass. Or double. Double is an option here too. But I will follow the crowd. I will follow... Oh, wow. Twelve thirteen. Well, I don't believe... Four over three, so I wanted to double three diamonds. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to double two diamonds. And now we're in four clubs. Uh, what an interesting development. So if we can make four clubs, cannot we make five clubs? Where Stentrix can be 11? So if partner has a singleton diamond, doubleton heart, so we need Ace of Hearts, Ace of Spades, and King Queen and Clubs. 13 points. Simon thinks we don't have five clubs.
Yeah, Arjun always overbids. Even with garbage hands. They will bid four diamonds. Nope. Ah! See? Close enough. Five clubs is close enough. Antonio Roja, welcome to the live stream. Three clubs. You have done three clubs. You might be a little bit late probably with uh, with the video. So sometimes if you have a bad connection, you might be delayed. Uh, wait, nine. I'll actually have issues here. So I'm gonna cash the spades first and discard the diamonds. What do you think, guys? I think I'm doing that. I don't want to be shortened from north. Five and a four. So definite, they definitely sp split four two. Is that wise? I have no idea, guys. Now I'm not thinking at all. Oh, wait. East is having 4441. So I'm going down one. I'm going down one. Ah, huh. not over -roughed. Ace of clubs, club to the king. Spade, rough over rough. I lose three. Oh well, this is not good. Might play the club towards the king and rough another one. I think I want to go down one only. I hope that they are not splitting 4 0. Okay, they are not. And there be two two. West played high low. He had doubled in there, so high high low is an even shape hand. So he might have a doubleton club. No, I think it's four 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 one. Here we go, and now he has to over rough. How about if I duck, if I dump the heart? Huh, that's the play. Look, he has to over up. He has to over up to beat the contract, because if he will not rough, then East, if he plays a diamond, I rough, discard the heart and, and draw the rest. If he play a diamond, uh, the same story, or if he play a heart, uh, I will make the, the king of hearts. Wow, well we we end up we end up in the very interesting uh, situation here and Arjun did it right. Is that called the Morton fork? So, I think I played kind of the best way here. Still not sure if that's enough. Minus 5. Well done. One no trump forcing. Two clubs and all passed. Congrats. 
Congrats, Eugene. Uh, here is your first 10 diamonds. So there's still 20 diamonds left. But I cannot lose a single board. And I still have one more challenge against Paul there. And two more boards here. So guys, for for the rest of you, seems like there will be nothing today. But let's see. One club, one heart. Let's go a spade. We'll be playing free no trumps anyway. Ah, will we? Five eights. I have eight tricks in my hand. There should be an entry to partner's side. So what is it? Is it two no trumps or three no trumps? Or pass? They will lead the diamond, so they will play a finesse. Actually, diamonds might be our best suit. Spades and hearts will... Uh, partner will have terrible hearts. I think we might have an 8 card fit in diamonds here. That's that's the usual thing. After this sequence, and if I bid free no trumps, never lead the 4th suit. Just usually lead the 1st suit of the declare, which very often is forbidden. But believe me, in these cases, the hard lead from East is very often the best lead. Not even the second suit of the dummy, it's the first suit. Okay, um, no one. No one. So I have to make my decision. And I'm going to bit free no. Okay, Crystal and Ivan, thank you that you're confirming me that free no is the bid. Crystal! Crossing fingers. Diamond lead. Okay, partner have an entry and now the only thing is we need one out of two finesses. Here we go. Here we go. Nine tricks. Maybe ten actually. Maybe ten. Doesn't matter actually if now or later. I have still only one entry, but I, I don't need more. This guy's dumping diamonds like crazy. Okay. So what now? What would you discard now? Here it comes. First spade and a first heart. Hearts. Hearts. Seven and a ten. Yeah, I don't have the balls to finesse. And I don't have the balls to end play them. But they're out of diamonds, they're out of clubs, and they're discarded three hearts. Four, eight, nine. So there are still four hearts left. So do I exit with the spade? Or do I play a heart and finesse? Yeah, I think I'm going to win my 9 tricks. Don't bother here for 10. 6 clubs possible? Yeah. Well, club split 3-1. So you need a lot of entries. But you will have the diamond entries and you need to rough 3 spades. Or you need the hearts to behave. You would need the heart finesse. Which is off. So, yeah, I think six clubs. Six clubs won't make. Mm. Yeah, I think East is will discard the hearts I think why not they they often do and give you over tricks if they don't have the chance here we go plus 10 so see that this is the difference in between invitation and letting your partner decide 
But right now, this might be eight quick tricks if I have an entry or two. Well, one entry was enough. And one trick if they lead a diamond. And it's very confident here, Arjun usually leads the unbit suit. So, no diamonds for you, Eugene, and it's pretty sure that you are not going to win this challenge. Good for me and for Crystal. Um, but you still have the chance to win 10 extra diamonds. So, that's, I mean, the motivation for me to play till the end. Always. Uh, right now it's two spades and then probably three spades. No, it's three no trumps, but I have deja vu. I have played these boards this week. Similar. I mean, I had ace, queen, jack, six in spades. It was six no trumps. Okay, um, right now it's tough. But I really have such a deja vu. Um, um, mm, 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 mm. So I need your help. Crystal, please help. I have options. I can bid three spades or I can bid three no. Ivan bids three no. It's actually a bad thing. Our spades are quite good and I might not be able to establish them in no trumps. That's the problem. Kevin bids three no trumps too. Might actually lose two spade tricks in four spades and still make. But in three no trumps I might not have nine tricks without spades. I think partner will keep bidding. Only Martin so far bids three spades. Buzzy bids three no trumps too. Christian bids three spades. And Crystal bids three spades. Paul J bids three spades. Here we go. Okay. I'm following Crystal. Four spades. Well, I'm, I'm happy because now I get a club lead and it's fine. I will dump the last club on, on the red suit. No diamond ace. Okay, wonderful. If I bid free no trumps, I will play free no trumps. Okay, now how to play the best way? I need to dump this one, I guess. I don't want them to play the clubs through. Of course, that if all four finesses are on, then I'm making 13 tricks. Probably and for hearts free free. Mm, all free, sorry. Diamond is not a finesse. All free finesses. Yeah, I'm afraid that if I dug that they rough me the diamond. I was actually working so hard today that I'm a bit tired. Um, okay, I want to play for making. But actually I don't care if I make or not right now. It's about 10 diamonds. It's not about the imps anymore. I have enough. Oh, whew. so I'm not roughed. Actually, I can play the club towards the queen. If that loses, I will get the rough. But I might as well play the jack of spades, draw the trumps and play the heart. But what if, again, what if they will duck with the king of hearts? Well, I played a lot of bridge this week. Played a lot of bridge, that's why I'm a little bit tired. Okay, if you are tired, then uh, you just follow your guts and the first thought 
Um, I'll just rough the club. Am I going down, guys? If the hard, <laughs> oh, both finesses were off, so I think the hard finesse is off too. I'm going down, down, down. Let's play the show up squeeze. Oh, I don't know how were the diamonds. Ten of hearts. Well. Wow. Well, if it is behind, he just kept it. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I want to it was a tie. Free no trumps minus one. Okay, so that was a tie. Too bad. Too bad, Eugene, for you, but free no trumps was a tie because no finesse works. And they have the diamonds. So c4 spades was actually quite good. If I play the spades first and not the clubs, I think I will I will make. They will win the first heart. And if not, then I might kind of end play them or something. So I think I could have made. Anyway, so two challenges off. I'm going to do this. So for Eugene, we get a green one. And I will send you a voucher for 10. But tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow. Not today anymore. Okay, and we have Paul here. It took him the most time. So he probably played the best. I'm more and more tired, so he has more chances. That's why I need you. I need your help. Thank you. Thank you, Eugene, for, for the challenge. Next, next week, we can make a repetition if you get lucky again. And be chosen. Okay, Paul, you are there. But you will probably not help me. I know, Crystal, you are doing the best. You are the savior tonight. Please hold on. Five more boards. Hold on. I'm passing for you. How about now? Do we bid two hearts or not? Well, there's still 20 diamonds in play, so either Paul gets them or two other people get them. Crystal passes, Kevin passes, Martin passes. Okay, well, then I guess I'm passing two and leading a heart. Oh, good pass. Barton has, what, four spades? Two clubs, I guess, only. I don't think that he has four. So West will have five spades, four hearts, three clubs, and singleton diamond. Unfortunately, if I play the queen or not, it doesn't make the difference. I want to play the queen because I want West to be in the trick. Not to play the Jack of Hearts. Partner could have had four clubs, so maybe I could have ducked. Partner duck. Ah. Okay, are you going to play a club? You 
We're playing a low spade. That might be good or bad. Partner, you know that the clubs are good. So if Declare manages to draw the trumps, he will dump the rest on clubs. I think this was actually a mistake. I think he has a singleton king, right? Yes, queen, king. Well, he might not, but I don't think that partner is having ace, king, and diamonds. Yeah, a singleton king. Okay, we give partner the hard rough, but that's it. That's about it. And a club. Oh, he tries to catch the diamond. Okay. Christian would have a bit two hearts. Well, maybe partner had a free card. But partner also had four spades. But that's not enough. That's not enough. Partner, if you would have played clubs, 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 it might be good enough. Because now uh, partner roughs with the heart. If he ducks the heart, maybe then. Maybe if I don't play that, he play a heart, I rough, I jump with the ace, play the jack. Plus one imp. Okay, that's a good start. That's a good start. Okay, 15 uh, will open one heart only. But with four losers, I'm um, keep bidding. And I think I don't need your help here to find out that I will bid four hearts here. Because out of four losers, if partner has the king of hearts, that might be enough. So, no matter what you say, I'm going to bid four hearts. Everybody will do, I guess. Partner has the ace and a pot potential finesse. Hmm. Ace and a jack. I mean, he will have king jack ten. Wow. What? Oh, wait. Uh, West over calls clubs. Okay, well, doesn't matter. Uh, I want to check what are the hearts because cross roughing and a beer card. Well, I might actually play two sevens at the end. Let's see if I can manage. Two, that's promising. Well, I hope that there are not five. Yeah, well, I need to rough the spades before I play the hearts. Um, I hope that they don't split 5-1. Oof. Yeah, see that the difference with uh, 15 high card points Previous time we had six losers and now we had only four losers. It's two tricks difference. Yeah, well, I don't like to duck, but I have to. It will be single. No, it's not singleton, so that's fine. Wait, this guy roughed, so there is one more heart, right? Is there? I think so. So I cannot play two sevens. But I will get my beer. I will get my beer again. And an extra trick. 
No. No, I want to get my beer. By the way, David, thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. No. Arjun. This is it. This is my beer. I deserve it. And I'm thirsty. And it's plus one imp. So, Paul, sorry, no diamonds yet for you. Although I would say these are quite flat boards. So, so far you didn't have a chance to win, even if you do your best. But we'll see. Wah, wah, ha, ha. What now? Do you see what I see? I mean, how can I show this? Partner will have an incredible hand with seven cards major. Okay, well, it's a magic. Guys, it's a magic. I can still I can still get that. I deserve it today. Speed bridge. Well, Paul, you took your time. You can take your time. Although, yes, you don't have that much time. But about 20 minutes normally uh yeah, 7. So what was it? like two to three minutes per board so actually in 15 minutes you should be fine normally if i play a challenge uh not on the live stream it's take me like two minutes maximum three i would say seven no trumps kevin wow i'm not sure two diamonds works best four no trumps what is four no trumps i have no idea Eleven thirteen. Well, that's what I have, but besides that, I have six five. So if I bet three clubs, six nice card, nice cards and clubs. I think that's fine. Partner will bet a major, and then I can bet diamonds. If I bet two diamonds, partner will jump to three hearts, three spades, and then I'm screwed. <laughs> One hour against me. Wow. Well, you have beaten me several times, so maybe that's why. Daniel, yes, you have a nice remark. Four no trumps is end of partnership. Buzzy three clubs. I like the three clubs. I mean, um, yeah, three hearts. We knew that this will come. Four diamonds. I'm suit controls. Wow. Um, three spades is a natural bid, but four diamonds is not. Fortunately, this is not a jump suit. I have also the two diamonds strong, so right now, I don't know. So four clubs. Let's bit four clubs. Four hearts. Help me now! Help me now! I mean, I I might cover partner four tricks. So we might even have a grand slam. I might cover him more, but also less. So what do we do? We are not only fighting for 10 diamonds for the rest of the challengers, but we are we are also fighting to win the challenge. Well, must have a slam somewhere, I don't agree. Well, four spades and we we'll let partner ask and show him that we have two aces, so he might figure out to stop. Yeah, well, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't show our diamonds, so it's too bad. Yeah, I like the four spades. Simon is also confirming. I like it. Four no trumps will, will be a Blackwood asking, which might be like a swell. Because if I ask for 
key card. Spartan tells me that he has three. And I might ask for the queen and he might show me how many kings he has. And then we might even play a grand. But I will let him I will let him ask. I like the four spades. What the hell? What was I asking for? Roman keycard Blackwood for clubs. What? <laughs> what now? I mean, I should have bid five spades, but... Seven clubs? No, well, the seed split's bad. Ah. I need to get rid of all the diamonds. I might not get uh, I, I won't have that many entries. If they lead a spade, I'm I'm doomed. So, I really don't think that we might have a grand slam there. It might even be better to play six hearts here. Well, I know, guys, that you are bidding seven because you like to bid a grand. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have to finesse the diamonds. 16 high card points. Why is he bidding, like, clubs with two small when he has a solid seven card suit? I mean, yeah, well, seven clubs not. Six hearts was the best. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Okay. Yeah, well, there's no chance. Okay, so six six hearts is super easy. This is super easy down one. Here we go, minus eleven. Just stay low, guys. Stay low. Three clubs, three hearts, three no four hearts. Well done. See, being passive, but six hearts is the winning board. So congrats, Paul. This is 10 diamonds to your side and actually the lead of plus nine here. Yeah, I mean, it should be definitely a four hearts bid and not a three heart bid. But I kind of knew. Yeah, I should have bid. That's experience. I should have corrected. That's why I automatically uh, responded for a heart uh, Blackwood, and not for the club Blackwood. Okay, um... What now? 11. Do we just show the 5 card in Major? Eugene is saying that there is a good article about uh, this two clubs opening in the last B Bridge issue. Well, uh, it really depends what is Arjun set up. So if, if there is really the description of the French style then uh, I would really need to read that. Okay, so right now, well, let's give him a chance. Let's give him a chance. 
Thank you, Crystal. There we go, free no trumps. Uh, need to duck twice. Four, seven, yeah, well, I need to duck twice. So we might as well go down here. Okay, they split 5-3, but because West had uh, Ace Ace King, uh, sorry, King Queen in Diamonds, East will have the Ace of Spades. Yeah, I'm down one. Okay, well, not a good start. There's still one more board to go. Space isn't split. Wow, five five. What a hand. I don't think that f four five six seven eight only. I see only eight tricks without the spades. Plus two, okay, we're living. We're living. Uh Paul made a mistake there and tried something funny or discarded wrong. So actually seven imps, seven imps for the last board. Fourteen. Yeah, I'm not going to open a no trump as some people would might have done. Okay, two, four, five, six losers. I need two honors and a bit of luck. So I think that this is a 50-50 game. What <coughs> what do you think? Crystal, what would you do? Sitting on my chair. Well, of course, losing seven. Uh, it's actually both ways. So if I bid four and it's there and Paul didn't reach it, I can win. If I pass and four hearts are two down, then that's eight imp, well, seven imps exactly, so that might be a tie. And there is also 10 diamonds in the pool, 10 extra diamonds in the pool. Crystal is going four hearts. Well, we need the points to win the challenge, that's right. But I mean, that's the advantage, and that's what's that's why I added the diamonds for every board, not like for winning the challenge, because I'm in advantage here by playing second, and I don't want to use that, so I, I want to win the last board uh, like on an equal level. Well, two hearts, two hearts with Arjun is pretty solid, so I don't play the weak race for one no Trump, but one heart, two hearts, usually it's like eight nine well seven nine so something like that so a good race so let's go and i know that it's not good to invite here arjun will not accept even with the good hand so let's just go for i mean normally vulnerable i will always go for here um, okay good lead so two three so I told you after the lead it's 50-50. You will now they have to cash two spades. Well, they're so smart. Who would have done it? Okay, I got an entry. Well, 50-50. I have to take the finesse. Playing for the Singleton King. Right now. What was it? King Jack with West. 
Ace of Clubs with West, right? And Jack. So I think uh, it's a solid chance that East has the king. Oops! Oopsie oopsie. So was that a singleton? No. So is that a push or minus six? Push. So Paul made it, so I couldn't have win it. Uh, but the good thing for one of you guys of the rest is that there is still one watcher left, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so here, congrats, Paul, both of winning the challenge and for winning the 10 diamonds here. And so let's go there and do the last draw. Here we go. So Paul winning 10. And here we have, here we go. So King of Spades. Queen of Spades, Ten of Spades and Eight of Spades. So here it is. We have those four cards. One of them, one of them is going to win. Mandy, if you are listening, uh, can you just come and make the draw so it's not all on me? Because I might, I might let my wife pick. I would let Amanda to pick the card. But, well, she's already two and a half hours sleeping. Last zip of encouragement. Okay, here we go. So, let me know which card. This one is the right. Right middle. Left, middle, and left. So tell me. Which one? Left, middle. Simon goes for left, middle. He was left, middle. Okay. Left, middle. Eight of spades. So it's all partisanos. Simon, for you... Uh, it was the right middle. Right middle was you, Simon. Christian was the right. And uh, Henry was the left. So, congrats. Old Partisanos gets the last voucher for 10 diamonds. And that would be all from me, guys. For uh, this... Not a week, but for this evening... Because there's still a lot to play. Because, first of all, weekend, Cross Fingers Bridge International Championships, but the Federation Tournament, Czech Republic Master Points, and see that there is one tournament, 12 players registered at this moment. Last week, we had 30 players, which actually made after the French Bridge Federation we are having the second biggest tournaments here on Funbridge under the Federation. And it's all thanks to you guys. Uh, I'm really glad uh, that you are participating. And that might be also the reason because this is the only tournament so far I know where you play exactly the same boards. So it's the most fair competition and I hope that Funbridge will change their policy too, because I don't think that the cheating here is such an issue. I think, uh, of course, people cheat and it's bad, but I mean, if you are playing competitions where you don't compare to each other with same boards, then I think the the competition struggles more than if there will be one one cheater in the tournament. So, thank you guys. Thank you for your support and for being here. And tomorrow evening there will be the video from the qualification. On Monday, hopefully, there will be uh, a video from the final of the Bridge International Championships. And again, on Tuesday, there should be the board of the week. So of this tournament. 
the nicest board which uh, will probably cost me winning the tournament uh, and uh, there will be the reward challenge against the best player of the Czech Federation tournament so thank you guys and take care see you next week